I'm going to finish off with uh, this song which I learned. Face to face from a gentleman by the name of Jody Stecker, who is an American singer of American traditional songs in America himself. And he was on tour some years ago. And stayed at my house and sat in my front room and sang me this song. And it's called Blue Mountain. And I'll have to explain a little bit about it. It's, uh, it was written, funnily enough, because it doesn't sound like it was written, it sounds like a very modern song. But it was actually written just after the First World War by a gentleman by the name of Fred Keller. He was a judge. Judge Fred Keller. And he'd been co-opted into the First World War. I think the Americans became involved in 1915, if my memory serves me right, for my history. Um, and when he came back from the First World War, he decided he'd seen enough of uh, death and destruction and uh, killing and horror He'd seen enough for several lifetimes, never mind the one he had left. So he decided to leave the law firm, as the song says, to seek a refuge from the law. And he went to Utah, to the Blue Mountain in Utah, not the Blue Ridge Mountains, there in Virginia. The Blue Ridge Mountains are somewhere miles and miles away, so it's the Blue Mountain in Utah. It's called Horsehead Mountain, because it looks like... It's got a horse head on the side of it, so it looks like a chess piece of horse head. Look it up on the internet, it's fascinating to see. And the only way of earning a living around there was by being a cattle driver. And uh, so that's what he did, he worked for the Brand LC, as the song tells you. Uh, so anyway, he uh, eventually got his faith in humanity back again, and realised that life was worth living, so he decided to... Uh, write this song about all the people that uh, he loved and made him uh, realise that uh, not everybody went around killing each other. And uh, <coughs> the local sheriff was called Zapatero because he was a boot mender when he wasn't a sheriff. And uh, so there's a play on words there, Zapatero, don't you tan my hide. And then there was, uh, who else? There was the Monzi store with the bullet holes in the front door. One of the lads got drunk one night, emptied a shotgun into the front of the uh, door of this trading post, attached a roll of calico to his horse and disappeared off over the horizon with a calico flowing behind him. And all the Native American Indians had new calico clothes that month. So, uh, so the calico treasure my pony can measure, that explains that. And then there was Slicks, the cowboy, who decided to save all his money and marry a decent woman he wasn't going to gamble and drink so he saved a big roll of money like that and found a decent woman and got married and two days after they were married she found his roll of money and buggered off so she he's been looking for her ever since but without very much success so for slicks there's still some hope and finally there's a woman who uh, every man needs especially if you have an appetite like me ev on the old chuck line if you're feeling like a bit of home cooking you went to see ev on the chuck line and she could cook just like my Mrs. Ken over there. And the whole thing's held together with a chorus which goes like this. Sleep a God's 
down my sides Along the hip side and shoulder Before I get older Slap a tear all down chins and my eyes Here we go with the chorus Yeah. 